Hey, this is Kyle. I'm gonna make this video as quick as I possibly can. Um, we are gonna train you today specifically on text remarketing. Before I get into it, I wanna allow you to understand how incredibly important it is to remarket every single one of your customers. You may be the guy who says, man, are all we doing is just bringing in $19.95 or $25 oil changes. This is a waste of time and a waste of money. I wanna help you understand um, the, the process behind the madness that we have going on here. First, really quick, I wanna explain the psychology of marketing. I'll be fast. Number one, we call this direct marketing. This is when somebody's searching on Google um, for AC repair or um, brake repair near me. Well, that person's gonna find you, that person's gonna call you usually, and that person's gonna schedule an appointment and come in, spend money, no questions asked. What we're able to do with Facebook and social media is get into a different psychology of marketing, which is what we call idea-based marketing. This is where we have the cool opportunity, the amazing opportunity of getting someone who is not even searching for you, but turning that person into your customer and seeing your car count grow week, month, year after year. Um, and this is the, the process behind it. Number one, when you are searching on Google, you're gonna come in, you're gonna spend money, no questions asked. But let's just imagine if you saw a $40 80 inch TV screen at Walmart, what are you gonna drive to Walmart thinking in your mind. They say over a hundred times on the way to Walmart, you're going to process $40 80 inch TV screen, $40, over 80 times. So that customer walks in and what happens when somebody bombards them left and right? Hey, do you want to buy this? Hey, do you want to buy this? They get frustrated. They just want to get their deal and they want to walk out. Is that because that customer's not your right customer? No, because we've actually done an amazing job of actually targeting your customer. The idea behind this is that customer just wants to come in, get the deal. But the crazy, amazing thing about this is that customer has a 90% chance of actually turning into your reoccurring customer because now they've been exposed to who you are. Now they can feel who you are. Now they have seen how good it is. And so that's the process behind why we do on top of mind marketing. I know it can be frustrating sometimes. People come in, they won't spend money immediately. They'll only pay what the oil change or what the state inspection or whatever the deal may be. But I promise you, if you focus on remarketing, it will change the complete dynamic of what's happening. Let's jump into it. Okay, so once you've entered your dashboard right here, this is typically what it looks like whenever you log in. You're gonna come right over here to where it says inbox. Go ahead and click inbox. You're gonna do this, remember, to every single customer who walks into your location. The moment that they're leaving, after you've um, closed out their service, this is what I want you to do. Okay, so you're gonna go to inbox, you're gonna click new up here on the left, you're gonna see new, and let's just say that person is, um, you're gonna enter his phone number. Let's just enter mine, for example, 214-886-2995, you're gonna hit enter. If you see down in here, there's this button that says use template. Once you click use template, you probably will not have, this is an existing account that we've set up that I'm kind of using an example. You probably will not see these three um, here. But what I want you to do is you're going to click this blue button that says add template. Go ahead and click that. Once you click it, this template name is something that the customer will not see. So remember this. This is a, the template name is something the customer will never see. What you're gonna do is once you've hit the template name, you're gonna go ahead and enter the template. So I'm gonna copy and paste. This is our template. You can find this template on the same website that this video is on. After you're done watching this video, we're gonna have a list of templates that you can use and ideas, okay? So what you're gonna do is we usually like to use the owner's name. This is a automatic reminder personal reminder about their upcoming oil change. So for instance, if they got an oil change today and their next oil change is needing to be about around three months from now, we wanna go ahead and send a text message to them about two and a half months out, so that way before they start thinking about where they're gonna go and because they don't have um, you in their mind again, we're gonna go ahead and immediately get to them before they can think of anything else, okay? So you're gonna hit this template, and here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna enter Don. Hi, this is Don, the owner of Christian Brothers Automotive, and we're gonna enter, just for kicks and giggles, South Texas location. Okay, we know that there's not a South, well there is, but you know what I'm saying, okay. 
Cool. So here's the template. Hey, this is Don, the owner of Christian Brothers Auto in South Texas. I see that you're, it's almost time for your oil change. When would you like to go ahead and get that scheduled? You're gonna add that template. Now, if you see here, this is adding on to my other templates that I have. You can add templates for anything you want. As you're gonna see, you're gonna see some for declined work. Hey, this is Don, the owner of Christian Brothers Automotive Lafayette. I saw that you were recently in, you declined some work. Hey, I would love to offer you 10% off um, to, to basically help get back, you know, get that customer back in. So when would you send a declined work? Well, if somebody came in from social media, you had an oil change and they declined some of the work, go ahead and schedule this text message out two and a half days later, right? I'm gonna show you all that here in a second, but you have all these templates here. Okay, now, here's what we're gonna do again. Remember, you're on your dashboard, you're gonna go back to inbox, you're gonna click new, let's just say we're gonna enter that customer's number, he's about to leave, or actually he's walking out the door, enter his phone number. You're gonna go down here to text or to template. You're gonna click it and you're gonna see which one is gonna be acceptable for him. Oh, okay, we're gonna use oil change. He's gonna click oil change. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna see this little button. Do not hit send now. Don't hit the blue button that says send now. You're gonna hit this little button right here that says schedule a message. And this is where it's gonna quickly allow you to schedule the day. Well, this oil change needs to be about two months out. So we're gonna go over to, um, let's just go ahead and do um, January, um, the 5th, 2021 um, at 3.39 p.m. and you're gonna go ahead and hit schedule. Now that message is scheduled. Remember, every single customer who walks into your door must get a text message scheduled for future work, right? So if you brought in someone from a repair, but you notice that their oil change is a month from now, go ahead and schedule an oil change reminder a month from now. I would actually do it about 10 days before their actual scheduled visit or to help remind them. Anyways, you can create many different templates for many different services that you find that is reoccurring. The idea here is to go ahead, get a message to that person's phone a little bit before they need that service to help be proactive about getting that customer in. Hey, listen, if you have any other questions about this process, I want you to go ahead and contact our team. You can email us or call us. All that information is on that same site that you just saw this video on. Anyways, we love you. We're always praying for you. And we pray nothing but success for you and your business. Let us know if you need anything.